Welcome everyone. Victoria Haffer here. Welcome to the year of the dragon 2024. Activate your sovereign divinity. 2024 adds up to the number of eight in numerology, which represents abundance. You may have been seeing triple numbers, three triple threes or triple sevens, key codes, activating your sovereign divinity, also representing representing self-mastery and ascension. The dragons are the seraphim of sovereignty and are here to support you in activating your sovereign divinity and to remind you who you truly are, what your divine purpose is. Choose consciously what you want more of. What is it that you truly want? Clarity, prosperity, peace. What is it? Remember where your energy goes, your energy grows. So just be super mindful on where your focus is throughout the day. Did you know that the dragons are the guardians of the treasures of jewels, of the wisdom of the womb? The dragons are the keepers of divine power, knowledge, and magic. They teach us how to show the world who we really are, as well as being able to hide in plain sight. Dragons teach us how to bring magic into the mundane world, face the darkness within, and see the magic all around you. Isn't it time to reclaim your sovereignty, to call your power back. For many of us who have had micro or macro traumas in childhood, there are often times, even at levels of high, high stress, or or times that you just really didn't have your needs being met. Anytime we're not feeling safe in our own bodies, something can occur that we call disassociation. And that's when we literally, literally check out of our bodies and we become, it's almost literally like your soul leaves your body, parts of your soul leave your body. So that's often why in in, in some, you know, the deep healing work that I do with my clients and my students, it, a lot of it has to do with calling your personal power back. Dragons don't need to prove themselves to anyone. They know who they are. (laughs) Let that set in. Let that set in. Dragons don't need to prove themselves to anyone. They know who they are. They don't do anything for us, yet they do amplify our gifts. So take a moment to ponder what your gifts might be. Now, maybe you don't even know what your gifts are, but our superpowers, our gifts, you know, and it may be something that you did as a small child that you were told you weren't good at. And so you basically gave up on it. And now it's time to reclaim that. So just taking a moment to ponder perhaps some things, the parts of you that have been missing, that if you were to call them back, could change your entire life. This is the year of our hearts, our power, and our creations. What can we birth in this world? It's time to take the mask off and show your true self and know that it's safe to be who you are with the support of your guardian dragon. We all have a guardian dragon. Perhaps in meditation or before you go to bed, you could just kind of ask for them to show themselves to you. So 2024, the year of stepping into our power, the dragons serve Gaia. Sophia, the divine feminine fierce energy. They are the guardians of the sacred energy, the dragon's heart, the solar plexus and sacral chakra are all one power portal known as the heart womb. Their breath is the fire love, which fuels our creations with power that is made from love. I'm going to read to you a little, a short little poem uh, that was channeled, The Rising Dragons of the Pleiades, channeled by Octavia Vassal. Dear beings of earth, 
we are here with you when you most need us. Some of us never left your realm, and we are waiting for you to let go of fear and to call upon us. We are closer than you might think, and our goal is to help you transform your planet. We are one with you. Our deepest wish is to bring back a sense of deep joy and happiness that we used to share together before your consciousness shifted to fear and wrong perception. When you are free of limiting beliefs, do you understand that you are the one creating your reality? You who read this message from us creates your own reality, independent from anything else, including the collective. You have the power to change your beliefs and to create what you really wish for. There is absolutely no limitation beyond that which you impose upon yourself because you have been conditioned to adopt and behave upon it. We are here to remind you that you are free. You have always been free. There was not even one moment when you truly lost your freedom. You have just forgotten that you are unbounded, sovereign beings, the creators of your own reality. And as you remember, you take your power back and start to create as your heart whispers. Let go of any idea that says something tries to stop you. It is your own mind trying to stop you. But beyond it, there is nothing else. Rediscover that place beyond mind and matter. We will meet you there. We love you beyond any story. And we are here for you. And so what shows up for you with that, with that message? And that really everything is about your, our mind. You know, you are not your mind. You are a multidimensional being who chose to incarnate into this beautiful body in this lifetime. And you have lived multiple and multiple parallel lives. So why work with the dragons? Dragon energy can be intense and powerful. They support you in transmuting things that no longer serve you. They support you in stepping into your personal power and divine sovereignty, raising low self-esteem while immensely boosting confidence. Yeah, imagine embodying the dragon energy. Pretty sure you'd be pretty confident with that, right? Entering the room as the essence, with the essence of the dragon. They teach us to trust our own innate wisdom and completely trust ourselves. So much of our healing um, journey is stem is really stemming around the fact of us not trusting ourselves. You know, maybe you were a little girl or, you know, a tween or a teen and or boy, I should say, or however you associate with. And, you know, you did some things that you maybe weren't proud of or have shame around or, you know, you beat yourself up or you get mad at yourself for thinking you made stupid choices. But when in reality, all of it is divine, right? All of the things that we've done has, that, you know, we've done to create learnings around them. That's life. We are only human. The dragons teach us to receive divine guidance from our higher self. The, your higher self is that part of you that is all knowing, all loving and non-judging. It's that part of you that has that direct connection to source, spirit or divine consciousness. So if you might want to consider them as like the gatekeepers right, of your divine knowledge. It's why you might just have these innovative ideas that come through. In reality, n nothing is ever original. Everything that comes through us in that, we, we call it in that space of the divine flow, is it's really just us remembering. That's it. It's just remembering information from another lifetime. Travel into dragon country with presence, an open mind, and friendship in your heart. The dragons draw closer to assist humanity with the deep healing that we desire. They are beings of unconditional love who wish to help Gaia, Mother Earth, and all that live upon her by lifting the vibration higher. Therefore, 
They have kindly come to douse the dark density on this planet with their transmutational fire. Guardian dragons are elemental guardians of human beings. The human being who has passed dragon initiations, be it in this lifetime or previous lifetimes, can be granted a guardian dragon who resides within their energy field as a protector, guide, and source of infinite wisdom and light. Not all humans have guardian dragons, yet those who are drawn to learn about dragons and work with the dragons are more than likely to have been assigned their own personal guardian dragon, and those who are higher up in the level of dragon initiations they have performed may have more than one guardian dragon. The guardian dragons are now starting to increase their communications with human beings to assist with the shifts that are occurring on the earth plane at this time. The souls that are ready to establish a deep connection with their guardian dragon will be ready to receive healing wisdom and light from them as well as wisdom, deep wisdom. So I'm going to take you through a little guided experience here. If you'd like to, you can pause this, the podcast here and come back to it at another time, or you can stay with us. We're going to go on a journey to meet your dragon guardian. So let's call on the dragon spirits of the elements from the four directions. From the east, the air dragon. The air dragon carries insight, inspiration, and vitality. Treat this power animal with the utmost respect. Large flashes of illumination and psyche and intellect are one of the many possibilities with this spirit guide. The air dragon will guide you through your problems by offering insight and clarity. He is a reminder to trust your inner voice. From the south, we call in the fire dragon. The fire dragon represents transmutation, energy, and self-mastery. As your power guide, he or she lends you enthusiasm, courage, and vitality. Your inner fires will ignite. They will help you handle and overcome obstacles. The fire dragon is a strong protector and will offer you leadership and mastery. They will assist you by giving your greater strength and confidence as you achieve your goals. Calling in from the West, the earth dragon. The earth dragon carries power and prosperity. They will guide us to achieve your maximum potential. They will help you discover what you are capable of. With the earth dragon's assistance, you will learn the beauty and power within you. They offer you the opportunity to ground your energy and focus on what is truly important. From the north, the water dragon. The water dragon represents connection, deep passion, and love. They bring memories and wishes that you may have long forgotten. They allow you the opportunity to square up with painful past experiences, transforming it into peace, balance, and harmony. Deep emotional healing is possible at this time. The water dragon offers you courage and compassion to battle your challenges successfully. So focusing on your breath, taking a few long, slow, deep breaths here. And bringing awareness to the base of your tailbone and allowing for your grounding cord to come through the base of the spine, through the chair, the couch, the bed, through the floor and the foundation of the building or house that you're in and follow that grounding cord all the way down to the core and center of Gaia, Mother Earth, anchoring in to the crystalline grid in the center of the planet. And then bringing your awareness above your head, above the, above the clouds, right way up beyond the, the sky to the stars, finding the stars, seeing the stars, seeing the most magnificent, beautiful, shining star, and guess what? It has your name on it. It's your star. 
And then in that moment, the star begins to expend and expand and shooting energy, divine diamond, universal life force, sparkly light starts to come out from the star and starts to, to just kind of pour through the, the sky as it moves very quickly towards you, towards your head and inviting it in. Just imagine your crown opening up and inviting this brilliant diamond light, dragon light energy into your crown and allowing for it to move through your entire body, moving through your center, through your crown, through your pineal gland, pituitary gland, the thymus gland, moving through the heart and the solar plexus, your power center and your second chakra, the sacral and your root and allowing for that diamond brilliant light energy to just move through your entire body, down your legs, to the tips of your toes, down your arms, to the tips of your fingers. And so just imagine simultaneously, again, that grounding cord drawing down through and connecting to the core of the earth as you connect to the astral, to the, the dimensions and galaxies. And then stating silently to yourself that you now will allow for anything that doesn't serve you, right? Any lower frequency vibrations, negative self-talk, limiting beliefs, old stories, wounds, micro or macro traumas that have occurred in this life or in past or parallel lives as well. And just imagine you deleting, destroying and uncreating all of that clean, clear slate. And then bring your awareness to the outside edges of you, your auric field, electromagnetic field. Typically it's about three to six feet out away from your physical body. And then just again, request, ask for your spirit team in the light to heal and seal any micro tears that have occurred in your bio field over the last hours, days, weeks, months, years, lifetimes. Heal and seal. So then stating again, either out loud or, loud or silently to yourself that nothing that is, that, that is not of the highest vibration cannot enter into your field. Only that of joy, of light, of unconditional love and gratitude can enter into your field. And then in this space, finding the outside edges of you and keep stretching it out. So just imagine you have that, that protective bubble around your body about six feet out and then find the edges and then stretch it out to the size of the room you're in, to the size of the house or the building you're in, to the size of the street you're on, your city, your town, your state, your country, the planet and beyond. And then in this space, like you're floating in the galaxies, in this space of feeling safe, protected, guided, pure light. Invite your guardian dragon to come forth. If they haven't already, they may have already come forth for you. And you can be wherever you want to be here. Find, just pick your most favorite place. You could be out in time and space. You could be at the ocean. You could be at uh, the, in the mountains, in the forest, maybe a favorite place that you had when you were a child, wherever it is. And just, you see from the distance, the most magnificent dragon coming towards you, flying through the sky. And you feel the, this sense of emotion start to well up inside of you as they land in front of you. Very large, very beautiful. What color are they? You may want to ask them their name and see if you get something. Now remember that receiving information can come in many different forms. It may be a knowing, it may be a feeling, it may be a, he you may hear it, you may see it, or it could be a combination of any of those above. 
and just knowing that the feeling or the knowing that you're having is is of a long lost friend because they have been with you for your entire life and for many lifetimes as well but perhaps you just weren't aware of them and take these next couple of moments to just have a conversation with your guardian dragon asking questions asking them to to perhaps download information into your hard drive of your brain of your knowing perhaps you feel called to ask for an an upgrade an activation of your divine genome your dna perhaps receiving light codes from your guardian dragon and that could be like feeling like a beam of light coming in and it may be a very specific color whatever you see or feel just be open to receiving it receiving it allowing for the downloads to occur perhaps light language most magical beings communicate telepathically and as humans sometimes we get a little confused cuz we're used so used to speaking in words but if you're able to just delete destroy and uncreate the way you're used to receiving information you can open yourself up to a higher level of frequency and a higher level of receiving divine knowledge and so taking these next couple of moments with your guardian dragon it could be that you walk with them or maybe you'd like to go for a ride so whatever that feels like for you you could you know st- jump up on to your guardian dragon's back or just walk around with them or take a swim with them and just being here just being and then when you feel complete you can thank your dragon and ask if there is uh perhaps a sign an omen or a symbol when they're around and just know that you can call on your guardian dragon at any time and they're out there their primary purpose in life is to support you in your and activating and awakening to your sovereign divinity and stepping into your personal power and realizing that nobody knows better than you do and to really the big message of the dragons is to stop giving your power away so maybe asking that question where in my life have i been giving my power away and how am i committed to doing things differently at this point so once again thanking your guardian dragon for being here for you and then watching them taking off and flying away and knowing that they're just they're always there for you so perhaps when you finish with this meditation you'd like to pull out your journal and take some notes write a few things down and remember to be and see the magic in everyday life